With the Columbia True Falls Film Festival just around the corner, plans are still being finalized. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Megan Drakes. And I'm Lucas Geisler. The City Council is set to meet tonight to discuss a sponsorship with True False. ABC 17's Ethan Hines spoke with one of the leaders of the festival and learned more about what that money would go toward. Lucas, Megan, True False, the art and film festival that takes place here in Columbia will begin March 2nd with roughly 130 different film screenings throughout the downtown area. Barbie Banks is getting ready for the 20th anniversary of the True Falls Film Festival in Columbia. It has everything from films, because we're a film festival, to music. Um, each of our films opens with a musician playing before, so you get a little concert. Um, and then we have art exhibits all throughout downtown. Banks believes the number of people coming to the festival will reach around 30,000. This number comes after looking through ticket sales this year and years prior and trying to make a comeback post-pandemic. We kind of reached our peak uh, before the pandemic in 2019 and 2020, where we saw closer to 50,000 people. And so we see this year as just a, uh, another growing year to get back to where we were. The Convention and Visitors Bureau has supported True Falls financially since it started. There's a city lodging tax that um, is paid out whenever you stay in a hotel here in Columbia, and that money gets um, funneled to the Convention and Visitors Bureau to support events like ours who are going to bring people to Columbia. The City Council will decide whether or not to give the festival $15,000 to help run it. The money is used for shuttle services for artists coming from the airport in St. Louis or Kansas City, as well as to pay for marketing in bigger cities like Chicago. Now, according to banks, the funding that will be used is partially to pay for advertisements in cities that are outside of mid-Missouri. And, you know, around 50% of the people that do come to Midmo are from not, are actually not from mid-Missouri. Reporting live from Columbia, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News. All right, Ethan, thank you. That festival coming up here soon. You can find more info on how to get passes and tickets on our website, abc17news.com.